What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoewear and today we're checking out the Nike Air Zoom GT Cut in this Amethyst Bright Mango colorway. So first, thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. But starting off with the box and the price, this was the first shoe to release in that Nike Greater Than series. So that is what the GT stands for just in the title. So, I mean, this shoe is insane. So I'm about to get into more of the details, but I mean, go check out the top 10 video of the year that I just released, you know, a few months back, or I guess it was about a month ago because, you know, this shoe was on there and it wasn't ranked two through five. So you can guess where they landed. But, you know, all three boxes did have a different design going on in the middle for the shoe. So the GT Cut is gonna have that jagged arrow, as you can kind of see, symbolizing the cut design. The GT Run had more of a squiggly line, and then the Jump had like an arrow kind of pointing up. So, you know, kind of a simple concept, but still a really clean look. But, you know, as for pricing, these are the cheapest of the three models in this line, because these are retailing for 170. I think the GT Runs were 175, and then the GT Jumps are about to release, and I think the retail price for those is going to be 180 so it is going to be a little bit on the higher side of the scale but i'm about to get into why these are well worth it So before I get into the appearance for these shoes, this is actually my second time reviewing this GT Cut model. I did an outdoor review for them, you know, this past summer. So feel free to go check that out. That is up on our page. But I did just want to take some time to put out an indoor review as well, since, you know, the gyms are back open. That was kind of the whole issue there. So, I mean, that's basically what we're doing right now. So like I said, this is the Amethyst Bright Mango colorway for this GT Cut model. And, you know, that GT Cut logo does show up on the back right here for the shoe. It's also going to be engraved into the middle along the tongue. So I think this design is pretty clean. So you're going to have some gaps also running up the shoe along that tongue that are see-through. So you just know that this is going to be a very breathable model for your foot. You also get a GT cut design kind of running off to the side of the laces. You can kind of see that like arrow running up the side of the lacing system. So I do like how they put that, you know, just into a few different places along the shoe. But something about this GT cut model is that the left shoe does differ a little bit from the right. Right. So like I just said on the heel for the right shoe, you're going to get that cut logo, but the left shoe, you're going to get just the GT text. And then just beneath that, you're going to have the word beyond on the back right midsole. And then you're going to have the word Nike with the greater than logo kind of or greater than sign, I guess, kind of built into that left shoe. So I do like whenever Nike like doesn't necessarily mismatch the shoes here, but they do just kind of switch it up a little. I think that's a cool idea. But like I said, I mean, this design is just super tough. It's one of the better looking shoes to release in a while. I mean, it honestly looks really similar to some Kobe's, which is why people, you know, myself included, are just kind of going crazy over this shoe. I mean, it literally sells out every time Nike releases a new colorway and it even resells on the aftermarket. So, I mean, that could be because of limited stock. It probably is a little bit, but I mean, quality definitely plays a factor on these two. So looking at the materials and the performance side for these shoes and starting off with the cushioning, I mean, that is easily one of the highlights for this model, but stick with me because there's even a few more. So on the midsole, you can see that these have that react cushioning that is going to be designed to be incredibly responsive and soft and, you know, check both boxes there. So I hadn't played in this model in a while and I just forgot how nice it feels to move around in this shoe. And then these even mold to your foot over time, you know, much like some other Kobe models as well. So you get to have that added benefit, but they're going to be stacked with a lot of cushioning. So like I said, you're going to have that react cushioning on top. And then under that is going to be a zoom strobe unit running the full length of the shoe. And then in the heel, you're also going to get a zoom air unit to finish it off. So, I mean, not quite as many cushioning features as the GT jump, but I mean, really close. So like I said, definitely one of the highest lights for this GT cut it's just how soft they feel playing 
So for the materials and the support, the bulk of this shoe is gonna be made out of a mesh upper that just like everything else, plays really nice on this design. Kind of referencing back to those holes I was talking about along the toe box, that is gonna give you great ventilation for your foot and it does run all the way up the tongue. You know, all this combines just to keep your shoe super lightweight. I mean, it basically feels like you're playing in nothing but in something at the same exact time, but built into the same layer as that heel unit, or you know, I guess just a little bit above that, is gonna be a stabilizer rail guard and you can kind of see it in that purple plastic piece it kind of like extends out from the shoe just a little bit but that's going to kind of keep the cushioning intact but it also acts as a little brace to kind of keep your foot in the shoe so i mean i'm just impressed with the materials and the support on this shoe there's really no give to the upper on step backs or any hard movements so once again just a lot to like for these categories So to finish off with traction, the good keeps on getting better here. So it is a pretty unique setup. It doesn't really follow either of the other GT designs, you know, from the run or the jump, but you can see kind of in the middle, you're gonna have some horizontal lines with some space in between that's gonna cover, you know, your front to back movements. And then more of a horizontal pattern near the outside of that design that is going to handle your side to side. And you know, the whole traction pattern does just that. So these are a little bit sticky too. So I do always like that. Definitely leads to some better grip on the court, but to finish off with sizing, it is gonna be a true to size fit that should have you covered here. I mean, these aren't very narrow at all, so that's always nice. And then the length was about perfect for me, but I mean, this shoe simply lacks nothing. You have a sick design. I mean, top tier cushioning and traction. The materials are quality and it's a breathable model. The only thing some people won't like is gonna be the price, but I mean, sometimes the good things in this life just don't come cheap. So if you're interested in buying these shoes and you wanna support our channel, we do have an affiliate link in the description that gives us a little commission that just goes back into buying more shoes and reviewing them for you. So feel free to check that out. But that wraps up this performance review. Feel free to leave a comment below if you like this video or just letting us know what shoe you want us to check out next. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace. Mama.